getting back here, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to wire in a fuel pump relay. Um, just in order to get a full constant 12 volts um, to the fuel pump. I have no voltage drop and it's actually a really short harness so this actually works out really nice. So what I did was I grabbed a 30 amp 12 volt relay just from a parts store. Uh, 4 pin and the way I'm running it is on the back side here. These two pins on the right I'm running constant 12 volt battery power to. The one on the left, the red one on the left and the red one on the right are both going to the uh, fuel pump itself. So according to pin number on these, here's a better shot of the wiring. Got pin 30 and pin 86 on the left are both 12 volt constant battery power. On the right we got pin 85, that one is a ground and then pin 87 on the top is the positive wire going to the fuel pump. If you look at the end here, I've actually got a clip from an RX-7 that's going into, uh, that's the female clip, going into the male clip, two pin clip that's just going to have a positive and negative wire on it. Uh, it's just a red and a blue, just from some old RX-7 I parted out. <coughs> also for switch, for safety measures and whatever, this is an interrupter switch. I think this is a 20 amp switch it's not focusing very well. there we go just a cheap Chinese made switch from the parts store now some people would switch the positive but then you're gonna be running all of that power through the switch so instead I switch the ground to the fuel pump here and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up splitting this in half and then running speaker wire to this one on each side and then the speaker wire is gonna run to this and then just split off of it and so it'll be one of the wires here and one of the wires here and this will not be connected so this will have to run through the switch on off and so I can hide the switch wherever I want I generally do it as a safety feature just to be able to have nobody be able to steal the car uh, with the fuel pump off obviously because I wouldn't be able to actually run the motor um, so it's just kind of a simple way to wire it in uh, I'll throw in a wiring diagram at the end of the video for you hope it was easy enough to follow uh, thanks again for watching guys I appreciate it We'll talk to you later.